An eastbound male and express train heads through New Rochelle, pulled by an EP-5, commonly called jets. A train powered by an EP-5 jet has a lot of head-in cars as it rolls eastbound through Rye, New York. Note the Atlantic Coast Line baggage car. By this time, the only electric locomotives in service on the New Haven Railroad were the EP-5 jets and the EF-4 freight engines. A Grand Central Terminal bound train, powered by a pair of FL-9s, rounds the curve at Rye. An EP-5 electric locomotive whips an eastbound mail train through Rye, New York. A headlight in the distance materializes into two FL9s as the freight meets the passenger train. We're at North White Plains, just south of Valhalla, at NW Tower. The two RS3s are uncoupled from the train. We are headed to Grand Central through the Bronx on the New York Central. Frank Schlegel rode the New York Central train into Grand Central to ride a New Haven fan trip. He is now aboard the head end of a vintage 1926 heavyweight turtle roof multiple unit car, perhaps sponsored by the Electric Railroaders Association on the Park Avenue Elevated in Manhattan. Switching is underway in the yard just east of Montauk Station. Cars of the Cannonball, which has just arrived from the Hunters Point Station in Queens, New York, are in the yard. The open-ended parlor car is either the Setauket or Jamaica. The large Montauk Manor Hotel dominates the background. 